There were there there have always been comic actresses. There's always been what you might call comedian. I'm a comic. That's hardcore comic. That's stand up. Now in when I was doing this, here's another thing. Even the men were working duo like Jerry Lewis and Dean Martin and Carlson and various buddies. In other words, being a female single stand-up, it means you're responsible for your material. That's a real stand-up. You may buy it, but you're responsible for it, you structure it, and it's you do it. See, comic actresses were the, my inspiration in, in my childhood. Uh, oh, those wonderful old wonderful movies with the comic actresses, many of them. And in in this case, some of them were pretty. It was okay to be pretty in the movies. A comic actress can be pretty. But hardcore comic stand-up, it's a whole other thing. You work in one, you work alone, and you don't use props. You see, I started out using props. Now, in order to become a stand-up, which was my goal, I had to get rid of the props. And remember, they're just that. They're crutches. They prop you up. Mm. You need them. You've got to you've got to obviate the need for them so that you can do without them to become a stand-up. The way this happened, here I am on the Tonight Show doing great, dear Jack Parr helping me. But I want to make that money that Ed Sullivan is giving. Remember, I'm motivated by money. I've got these children and no home. Homeless family of seven for five years. That was my motivation. Uh, and uh, I'll never forget when I first came, I, I realized to get on the Tonight Show, to get on the Sullivan Show, had to be a curtain and me. And that was my motivation. And that's when I became a stand-up and never had the, the uh, props again. You know, I had jabots and pants and nez and feathers and hats. You know, that's all. All right, look, Jonathan Winters. You know, he slaps on a hat, he's off. Give him another hat, he's got another character. That's how important props are. 